Hello, recently I had a comment on one of my videos, the BBC SO lead versus the Spitfire solo strings, basically saying, oh, it's by Craig. He said he had the core and he's debating whether to upgrade to the professional version. It's about double the price you pay for the core uh, to do that. Um, he doesn't really care my, about the mic positions though, but he just wants the extra instruments. And he's wondering if he should go elsewhere to get those extra instruments instead of paying basically double what he originally paid to get a couple of extra instruments. And that kind of made me think and think, well, BBC Symphony Orchestra is all well and good, uh, a great product, but what else is actually out there? Could it be cheaper to go elsewhere and still get the same sort of quality and same sort of setup? So that's what this video is kind of looking at. We're going to be looking at alternatives to the BBC Symphony Orchestra Professional. Now, I have done a video comparing the Discover versus Core versus Professional. If you're really set on getting this product and by the end of this video, you're like, no, I still want to go with BBC Symphony Orchestra and you're wondering which one to go for, Link in the description for that. There's probably going to be a tab on the screen so you can go watch that video and ultimately decide where or which one to buy or maybe just stick with the free one. But anyway, let's get into the video. I think it's important before we look at the alternatives is to set the bar. So at this point, if you're thinking of buying at least the professional, your budget is roughly going to be, I'm going to say around the thousand dollar mark in all honesty. And bear in mind, we are going to be getting a full orchestral setup out of this. So let's jump in and first off look at BBC Symphony Orchestra Professional very briefly and a quick overview. So these are all the articulations. You're getting the solo strings uh, as well. Those are kind of the main difference between core and professionals, the fact they lack the leader, the solo strings and the mic positions. And there's a couple of extra instruments like uh, I think the contra bassoon, uh, where is it? Yeah, the contra, clara contra bass clarinet maybe as well, but there's a couple little bits and bobs. I go in more depth in the other video comparing the three about the major differences, but I guess the main one is these mic positions. And so this is our foundation for this video. 21 mic positions, absolutely ton, all the articulations you'd really ever need from longs, shorts, uh, staccatissimos, spiccatos, tenuto, trills, uh, flautando, multi-tongue, uh, long salt pond, tr tremolos, literally the list is here, you can see it, it's endless, there's so much going for this library, which at the moment, actually it's on sale, I believe it's only 700 and... 49 pounds. I think the core is around the three, 400 pound mark currently. Um, it's not coming up because I've, I've logged in. Um, but that's kind of the foundation. So when we look at these different libraries now, think back, okay, for a seven, eight to a thousand pounds ish, I can get 21 mic positions and the entire orchestra, except the piano, dumbly. Anyway, maybe you you're starting out and you don't quite want that full orchestra or maybe you don't even have the budget close and maybe your budget's only around a hundred pounds a hundred dollars well they do do spitfire audio and originals orchestra i say originals orchestra it's just a collection of some other originals so you get the epic strings the epic woodwind um, brass cinematic percussion firewood piano hey, there you go you get a piano with this one and cinematic pads now, the downside with these is there are more ensemble patches. They're not your individual instruments. And I would always recommend going for the individual instruments. I would never really recommend ensemble patches. They're great for starting out, but you soon realize you need that control over everything, uh, at least in my personal opinion and experience. So this is an option. Another option by Spitfire Audio, and I promise you we'll move on after this away from Spitfire Audio, is their Symphony Complete collection, which you get uh, their Spitfire Percussion, Symphony Symphonic Brass, Symphonic Woodwinds and Strings. This is a legendary collection of instruments that work within contact. You don't have the dedicated plugin um, that comes with Spitfire, but it is the contact player, so it's free to use. You know, you're spending a thousand pounds roughly, or might be a little bit more because that is a, a complete your bundle. So it might be a little bit more for you. But these are a gorgeous selection of instruments. The percussion library I will use 
over the stuff I get uh, in the BBC Symphony Orchestra simply because it is a dedicated percussion library. But these are, I feel, a very classic orchestral sound uh, and the harp, I feel, is a, a lot better than the one you get in BBC Symphony Orchestra, although saying that with the 21 mic positions, it'd be good to do a comparison video on that. So let's move away from uh, from Spitfire and into another company that uh, was mentioned to me um, by somebody in the comments a while ago. It's so it's by Audio Imperium. It's Nucleus. Now this is a very good, I would say, side by side comparison with BBC Symphony Orchestra, especially maybe their core version because of the price tag and it is everything in one plugin. Now it works within, I believe, the contact player. You're getting two mic positions, classic and modern, and it has everything from soloists, individual instruments, ensemble patches, and then a full ensemble patch as well. And it's about, what, 30 gigabytes. There is a light version for $100. Uh, and as you can see from the pictures, it, it's quite a cute little thing. And articulation wise, you are getting set back a little. It's only got one short. It's not got the staccato spiccato. It's just got, is it spiccatos? Spiccatos. Um, but you are getting legatos. You are getting tremolos, pizzicatos. No collegno. Yeah, I'm not seeing collegno in there. So it's hit and miss. You are getting a harp, a celeste, uh, a choir section as well, um, which is rather interesting, which of course you're not getting um, with BBC Symphony Orchestra. So I feel it's a little bit more fleshed. I've not personally used it. I really want to get it and do a comparison with BBC Symphony Orchestra, but I don't have $300 lying around, sadly. Um, so that's another contender. And 10 out of 10 by Music Tech. I trust their reviews. So there you have it. Uh, next, this is one I don't particularly like, but I feel it is important to mention. It's the Composer Cloud by East West. I feel these are getting quite dated in all honesty. Um, and you're paying, well, only $149 a year. I think it's $20 or $19.99 a month if you're just an individual. But if you're a student, it's $9.99 a month or I think like $100 for the year. So if you're studying or dabbing your toes, this is actually the one my tutor initially recommended me for starting out because it's subscription based. You're not actually buying it. So if you're just dabbing your toes and maybe not planning on doing this for your life, do you really want to be spending a thousand pounds on some software that you're only going to use for a year or two? When you could just subscribe, get quite literally everything. Um, although... I can't remember if you get all the mic positions or just one mic position with this subscription, um, but you are getting, I think there you get 42,000 instruments plus any new releases from East West. So you're not going to run out of things to use. So that is an option out there. Moving on into orchestral tools. Now, I think their response to BBC Symphony Orchestra was this. It's the Berlin Orchestra. Uh, it is 849 euros plus VAT. It's not included in the price tag there, so you'll be paying a little bit more on top of that. But for that, you are getting solos. You're getting individual sections. Uh, it's only one mix, and the articulations are a little bit I say limited, you, you are getting two shorts, pizzicato trills, tremolo, no car leg, no again, you're not getting the wide variety you're getting with BBC Symphony Orchestra. Um, but I do love uh, orchestral tools, their quality is outstanding, and which kind of leads me on to kind of a dream purchase, uh, which is the Berlin series, uh, which I think you'd be paying nearly 2,000 euros for. It's not a cheap product. Let's back out of this and actually show you what I'm talking about. Um, do the, here it is, the collection, Berlin series main collection. This is kind of the creme de la creme, I feel, of VST orchestral instruments. This is like, if money wasn't an option, I would buy this in a heartbeat because 
it doesn't get better than this in all honesty you've probably heard these instruments on thousands of tracks and not realized it but these are the ultimate uh vsts when it comes to orchestral instruments but you are paying a hefty premium for that and there are probably better cheaper options out there which we're, we're, we're talking about but I think it's good to mention kind of the top end uh, as well as the bottom and middle and everything in between. Anyway, um, oh yeah, mic positions and articulations for this. Five mixes, uh, I think four to five mixes with the actual Berlin series, while the actual um, collection, the... If we can actually scroll to it, where's it gone? There it is, Berlin Orchestra, you're only getting one mix with that. So bear that in mind, you're paying close to what you pay for a professional for only one mix, but you do have the outstanding quality that comes with orchestral tools that rivals that of Spitfire, at least in my opinion. This is all my opinion <laughs> and experience. So let's move away from orchestral tools. Oh, I should mention as well, they do do ensemble ones, like Albion-ish star ones as well. They're the Inspire orchestras. Eh, it's basically Albion, um, but I thought I might as well mention them in passing. Yeah, maximum creative scope with minimum footprint. Inspire. Yeah, you can look into that. Links are all in the description. We're moving on to, or uh, not orchestral tools, we're moving on to native instruments now. This is one that has been mentioned to me. It's the, or, well, the compact orchestral portfolio. It's the Symphony Essential Collection by Native Instruments. Note the price tag, £359. Now, there are two versions of this. There's the Essential and the actual Series version. And when the screen finally loads, you'll see kind of the difference in the breakdown. So the main difference is you're only getting one mix and mic position with the actual collection you're only getting the essentials so you're getting the percussion string ensemble brass solo brass ensemble woodwind solo woodwind ensemble note you're not getting the string solo there i don't believe and it's not in the premium as well that's odd i wonder where the string solos are so if we just do a quick comparison comparing uh the essentials versus the series we've got the strings up specifically here uh, we can see if we scroll down a little bit here so with the actual essential it's three gigabytes 38 articulations no auto divvy you're getting a legato emulation one mic position while well, you do get those four mic positions and a mixer page uh, with the actual series version as well as a customizable auto divvy you're still getting the same 38 articulations um, but I really feel it's that those mic positions you're really paying for if we look at the articulations what are we getting uh, violas harmonics spiccatos staccatos pizzicatos trills are we not getting Carl Legno I love Carl Legno but it seems to be missing so you can see there kind of the breakdown ah here we go harmonics so again, not kind of the same as the professional, but we are getting a, you know, something. And especially for the core price, it's not bad uh, for what, 226, I think, or 300 ish. So 859 for the series version or 359 for the core. But that might be enough for some people. I've heard good things about it. I do one day want to do a video on it. Again, money. <laughs> the final thing, uh, actually, it's not the final thing. We've got a, a free one right at the end of this video. I should have mentioned that at the beginning. But Complete 14, uh, this one, you get the actual essentials with it. Now, I know it's around the £1,000 mark, but roughly, you know, we're comparing this with BBC Symphony Orchestra, so we're trying to keep everything kind of on par with that. You're not just getting the orchestra, you get the orchestral essentials that we just talked about. So you're getting this, the essentials, not the actual series. 
but you're also getting contact seven. You're getting session guitars. You're getting the spotlight collection. Uh, so instruments from around the world. You're getting Ozone 10 standard, which is an awesome piece of software. I use Ozone 9 and for mixing and mastering, it will change your life. <laughs> it will make your music sound better. Uh, honestly, I love Ozone. I love Isotope. Their products are so handy. But as well as the orchestra, you're getting a wide range of synthesizers, 48 sampled instruments, 15 percussion tools, 31 effects, and expansions as well, all for roughly the same price, maybe a little bit more than what you would get for the actual professional. Now, there is a standard, complete 14 standard, but you're not getting the orchestral essential with that version and of course you can do more research i'm kind of giving you a basic outline all the links are in the description so you can investigate all these products a little bit more before purchasing um well there you go the full breakdown there you can see the symphonic uh, symphony sorry essentials uh there with the vsts as well as some other fun little instruments there as well but the final product I want to talk about, the one right at the end, the Alpine project. Now, I say free, it does require the full version of Contact, and I am in the middle of filming a series to do with the Alpine project, which hopefully will be released soon. It's basically just uh, woodwind strings and brass. There's no percussion, but just free Contact instruments uh, of individual instruments, and you're getting like three or four uh, of, well, I say three or two really, uh, of individual instruments, so violins, violos, cellos, flutes, oboes, etc, etc, etc. And they're all solo instruments as well, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Articulations are limited to longs and shorts, essentially, but for a free product, it's outstanding and just wait till those videos come out because it, they blew my mind. Um, so that's a free full-ish orchestra right there and then. But after all is said and done and in doing the research for this video and with all my experience, in all honesty, a BBC Symphony Orchestra professional is a very well-rounded package with 21 mic positions and with three, four hundred, probably more articulations that you're actually getting with them. Uh, it's hard to beat because you can really just mix it to how exactly you want it, as close as far as you want without any reverb. You're just getting the natural room, the natural sound. Uh, they work really nicely together, and that's something to add. If you're going with the core and then going elsewhere to get other bits, you sometimes have that issue with the libraries don't quite mesh together. Um, yes, we're lacking a piano and you've got to buy it, which is annoying, but saying that, there's actually a really good free alternative. I say free, I think it does require contact that you can get from Piano Book. I'm going to be cheeky now and get that up for you uh, right now. It's called The Experience and it's like nearly 10 gigabytes of samples. Uh, it's honestly one of the best pianos I think I've ever really messed with. That's free. Uh, oh, it does work on FF. Z, which is a free sampler, so it is technically free, but the experience, I think it was the New York one, this one, honestly, so good, and it actually mixes in really nicely with BBC Symphony Orchestra, and as I said, it's completely free, so maybe experiment with that before paying an extra 149 for a piano that would technically work with all this. Then again, there is um, a contact version as well they do, which is like £20, that I use in substitute. Anyway, after all said and done, personally, um, I really like the professional. I've not gone anywhere else since. I really do want to try this out. This is very tempting and I will one day. But ultimately, I've hoped I've given you some options and some choices ranging from, I think like a hundred pound, well, free to uh, nearly two, three thousand dollars or euros. But hopefully this has helped give you some options. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.